All right, hey everybody, I'm gonna interrupt the banter for lunchtime here. Keep eating. We're not doing a, a, you don't need to take notes or anything. So keep eating, enjoy your meal. Um, my name is Cole Watts, I'm with Stages of Recovery here in Lubbock. Uh, we've got a few space spots in some other towns, but Lubbock's our headquarters here. And uh, I am here for the awards presentation. As uh, probably many of you are aware, we do an awards celebration each year at Source to Solution. And so that's my part here for lunch. So we're gonna celebrate our awardees. So thank you for being here today. Source to Solution continues to be a tremendous resource for our community and we appreciate everything that you all bring to the table. We have a multitude of people in our community who work tirelessly to address substance use and they do not always get the recognition that they deserve. As a matter of fact, most of you don't get the recognition that you deserve. Um, we also honor those with lived experience who strive to make a difference in their own lives as well as those around them. Um, they're kind of the unsung heroes, our clients that we work with that are out in the trenches working really hard to try to make themselves better while we support them. Thank you all for the dedication to the well-being of everyone in our community. With that being said, we have the tremendous honor today of presenting two awards. Today, we will be presenting the Margaret and Randy Christian Allyship Award to recognize an amazing ally in substance use prevention, treatment, and recovery. And we will also be presenting the Dr. Kitty Harris Award for outstanding service to youth in the area of prevention of substance use and violence. So uh, it was tough to write all that on an award, but we got it on there, just so you know. The first award that we're gonna be presenting today is the Margaret and Randy Christian Allyship Award. Uh, I haven't totally gone through this script yet, but I do know that, that Margaret and Randy Christian are here today, and so I just wanna give them a round of applause. Thank you for being here. And they're back here in the back. Uh, as mentioned earlier, if you weren't here this morning, uh, we, Catherine mentioned it earlier whenever she introduced everybody or start introduced the conference, but uh, Randy Christian was a former city council member, and so this is this was his brainchild. He came up with this idea, and, and we uh, here are celebrating it the fifth year, I think, right? Fifth year, um, due to his efforts. So uh, it, it's a well-named honor, for sure. Uh, it's, it, it was established in 2022, though. This award was established in 2022, and it recognizes a person who unselfishly gives his or her time, energy, dedication, and expertise to increase public awareness and support the issues of substance use, misuse and addiction. Recipients of this award have enacted an innovative project to address substance use treatment and recovery. The first recipient of the award was none other than Randy Christian himself for this conference right here. Nominees for this award were chosen for their contributions to furthering community knowledge about the issue of substance misuse and addiction, as well as available resources. Activities performed to move forward available substance use treatment and recovery resources in West Texas, and assisting with implementing programs, events, or activities that improve the quality of life of individuals living in the Panhandle and the South Plains. This year's recipient routinely designates her time to the betterment of the programming and community betterment of programming and community success. She has worked tirelessly with the Substance Use Service Assistance Network, better known as the SUSAN program, and more recently added SUSAN for Families. These programs offer a variety of ways to connect with schools, community members, individuals needing assistance due to substance misuse, and those currently incarcerated and re-entering the community. This individual not only works hard to make sure goals are met in her programs, but is often the first to volunteer for any need brought to her attention throughout the department and the region. You want her on your team because you cannot fail when she is by your side. I knew I was gonna say that, but I had to turn the page. Uh, not only that, but I've had the distinct honor of working with her and Susan uh, at stages of recovery, and I can attest to everything uh, that said here. So please join us in welcoming Mercedes Martinez as this year's winner of the Margaret and Randy Christian Alice Ship Award. I don't think she knew. Were you surprised? 
definitely. <laughs> this is it. Look at this thing. Here, I'll let you take it out because I don't know. If you want to, take it out so that way you can take your picture. It's heavy, huh? Yeah. That's it. Do you want to Thank you guys. Honestly, it was a shock, but I want to say thank you. It takes a village. Sorry, guys, I just wanted to say thank you. It was a surprise, and it takes a village. So we have a great Susan team right over here. We're spaced out, but it takes a village. So I want to say thank you all. Uh, congratulations again, Mercedes. Much deserved, for sure. Uh, our second award is the Dr. Kitty Harris Award. This one was established in 1998, and this award recognizes a person who unselfishly gives his or her time, energy, dedication, and expertise in service to youth in need of assistance with substance use and violence, and the promotion of overall wellness. The first recipient of the award was Dr. Kitty Harris. The, I'm gonna get you your box too in a minute, Mercedes, don't forget. The criteria for nominations were, this person, has con contributions above and beyond what would be ordinarily expected and not done to gain recognition or build a resume. That's real true. Activities performed out of a sincere sense of caring and a desire to help youth. And contributions which enhance the goals of an organization or increase the quality of life in the community for our youth. Sorry, y'all. I didn't think I was going to do this. Uh, this year's recipient was nominated due to his dedication, compassion, and selfless service to youth. He consistently goes above and beyond to support young people struggling with behavioral concerns, substance use, and violence. As both a professional and volunteer, this individual promotes wellness through his genuine sense of caring and unshakable commitment to providing instrumental programming for youth as a mentor and encourager. His initiatives help to create a safer and healthier environment where young people can thrive. His influence extends beyond any one program or project and will be appreciated for generations to come. Please join us in welcoming Jafar Abdullah to the stage to receive the Dr. Katie Harrison Award. Got me crying, bro. Thank you. I can't now. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Times a million. Um, when I told some of the students that that I'm blessed to work with, they they hold me accountable. They inspire. Um, they motivate me, all of those things. Uh, we had a mental health check-in yesterday and I told them, man, I'm, I'm super nervous, right? Like, uh, if, if I didn't have to go, I wouldn't go, right? Like, if I could send you guys, I would send you guys, right? And, and they said something like they always do, to just hit me in the heart, right? Like, when, if you're there, we're there. And, oh, man, <laughs> I appreciate you guys for motivating us, for inspiring us, for giving us safe spaces, to learn and to grow, for not being judgmental, for giving us grace. I thank my, my, my mentors and those who pour into me so that I'm able to pour into the youth and then they're able to, to, to actualize their highest selves, right? Like, and it's a blessing to be a part, it's a blessing to do this work. It's tough, ooh, it's tough. Everybody in here that does the work, no, it's tough, but it's worthwhile, right? Like we're knocking doors down. Right, and not just for us, but for the youth and for the littles that's coming behind them. And so thank you on behalf of all the youth, all of the youth that I serve, that we serve. Thank you guys so much, I appreciate it. Oh. My mom's just gonna take it. I know, right? <laughs> oh, my bad. Take it back out. All right, all right. <laughs> Come on, man, get in this picture, dude. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, I, I'm, I'm sure I wasn't the only one, but I nominated Jafar, so I, I, feel, I feel really strongly about him. Uh, 
that's pretty much it. Please enjoy the remainder of your food, right? That's kind of the, the end of the awards part of the ceremony. Uh, enjoy your food. Uh, we'll get started at one, basically, close to one. So uh, if you're done eating, all these people out here in the in that all, they're wrapped all the way around the corner too. If you so haven't gone all the way around the corner, go all the way around the corner and check out all the stuff that there is. A lot of these people paid money for you to have a free meal today and a free uh, experience. So um, go check them out and see if they can uh, if you can collaborate with them too. And thank y'all for being here. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.